30 in the morning. We woke up super early to go see the pandas and check in. Oh, what time do the pandas play? 6.30. Yeah, something like that. And they go to bed at 9 in the morning. So if you want to see some action, you have to wake up early. So let's go. some giant pandas. Panda base this way. No! No! God, please, no! I'll never know why. Why are they running? Not necessary. No! No! Okay guys, we actually made it to the front of the queue. How do you feel? Hi. Excited? Yeah. We're here in the Panda Research Center. And if you look around, you can see absolutely no pandas. But there are thousands of people here to see the pandas and we're heading deeper and deeper into the panda research center praying hoping to see some beautiful panda bears all we see so far is pandemonium so we'll check in with you next time stay cool a lot of red panda One annoying thing was the the signs everywhere saying keep quiet, right? Because you don't want to disturb the pandas. So you're supposed to keep quiet, but everywhere you go, there's these cops with the loudspeakers all set to full blast telling everyone to put on their masks. So it kind of, and walk, walk, and don't, don't look. stop, don't look, keep walking. So it's kind <laughs> the of annoying. The whole reason people come here is to see the pandas, and you've got this freaking cop screaming in a microphone to not stop and look and keep walking. But again, when you're ch China veterans like us, you come to uh, expect such such uh, annoying buffoonery. So, uh, par for the course in that regard. Yeah, it was a big queue getting in, of course, because if you come to visit this kind of place on a national holiday, you kind of know what you're getting in for. But uh, actually, it wasn't that bad. I'm sure there's a lot of people, but it's nothing. You're not like elbowing people all the time. Uh, red pandas were cute. Big pandas were cute. You know, it's pandas, guys. And, it was good, it was good, yeah. but I think I've seen better, actually. I mean, the difference is here, they have a bigger... It's a research center, so I mean, it's a whole place dedicated to pandas. So, yeah, yeah. whatever. Panda, panda, panda. It was good. Yeah. Not as many pandas as I thought. Maybe how many? Five. Well, we saw about. Well, I Maybe don't know. More, I wasn't but counting. Anyway, it was good. And see you later. Well, we finished with the pandas, and there's this uh, pop pop up uh, Jurassic World uh, exhibition. It looks like the real deal all the way from uh, Hollywood, so let's check it out. What do you think, Didi? It looks real! Is that a real Brachiosaurus? Hi,
Dinosaur Park, Jurassic World, man. Jurassic World. Oh. Jurassic World. It's the real deal, it's not like a knockoff thing. I don't think anyone here has really seen any Jurassic Park movies apart from us. But uh, yeah, kids love dinosaurs. It's got the Jurassic Park music. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And those baby dinos are breathing. I mean, that is excellent. Real dinosaurs. to have a drink, have some dinner. So all we need to do is cross that bridge and on the other side is a whole awesome restaurant and bar area we're gonna discover. So come, let's go.
Little market? Yeah. Unfortunately, always selling the same stuff. Anybody tell you you can't do something? That guy can do that without any hands. If he can do that, you can do anything. Amazing. Here we are at this very special, popular, um, how can I call it? Bread corner. Meat, meaty bread corner. Hey, it's bread time. Here's very popular Chinese bread, Bowser place. Not sure what they're making exactly, but there's lots of people queuing here. And there seems to be like a very, very popular spot. Looks delish. Got some meat, some vegetable. In the end, it's like a ball. And in the end, it's like a ball. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna try one of these things. It looks so good. It looks so good. Look, I think it will be good. Look at all these guys were on TV making these balls, so it has to be good, right? They even put egg yolk on. Yeah. Egg yolk is so yummy on bread. Okay, kids, we're about to taste this Chinese bread. What do you think? I don't know what what do you think? Good. good. It's meaty. Meaty. By the way, I'm Freddy. Hey, it tastes good. The vegetables also good. You didn't know that. Okay, so we've been walking around the, this place. Really hard to pronounce that one. Quan Xiang's Alley. It's just like Old Street, you know, like every Chinese city has this kind of Old Street and they're fine, but we're just tired of it now. I think today we just don't want to do in any uh, Old Street stuff anymore. But a good game to play when you're in Chengdu with your kids is spot the panda because they're everywhere. So you can walk around and you can spot them. See who's the first one to spot the panda. It's quite a fun game. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, we're looking for something new, something interesting, something unique. Like, 
What's unique about Chengdu? So far, I can only really say like pandas and hot pot. Probably more, but it's not presenting itself to me. So we're gonna keep looking and see what we can find. Panda!